If you haven't yet used the new Ahrefs Content Explorer, this tool is extremely beneficial. Now, Ahrefs is a paid tool, so you got to pay to be able to use this. But when you use the Content Explorer, you can basically just type in any keyword that you want. In this example, let's do a different one. Let's do Keto. We click Go, and it's going to show us 15 million pages that are in its index as well as the pages that are ranking at the top for this term and a whole bunch of data right here that we can look at. So we can see just in a quick glance trying to rank for the term keto is probably going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> we got like Healthline and you know with a DR of 92. So they have a lot of authority built up. Their URL has a lot of authority built up. We've got 5.2 thousand referring domains. And this page gets about 250,000 visitors per month in traffic. The traffic value is estimated at 117,000. But the whole traffic value for the whole site, healthline.com, is $4.3 billion in traffic. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a pretty tough website to, to rank for, or a pretty tough keyword to rank for. But if we were to do something a little bit simpler, like um, keto diet, versus low carb or something like that we can start to see that some of these are a little lower like this one's a 54 and it's ranked number three <laughs> windows forum <laughs> oh that's too funny uh yeah so obviously it's really helpful to have this at a glance look to see what's going on with the specific keyword but you can also use this tool to find broken links You'll have to upgrade. I'm not even on the plan where you can use that tool. But if you upgrade, you can use this tool to find broken links that you can then go reach out to those people. Say, hey, look, I see you have a broken link. And you know, would you mind linking to our article in place of the one that's broken that talks about all the same stuff? Right. Uh, you can do all sorts of filtering here. You can filter by domain rating, page traffic, author, website. Uh, uh, you can even filter out explicit results. So there's there's some different uh, filtering you can do here, and you can also see a graph of how things have changed. So back in 2021, 2020 and 2021, the keto diet was like picking up a lot in popularity, it seems like. Since then, it's maybe not as popular now. Um, well, I guess this is keto diet versus low carb. But we could look at it for keto diet too. It's probably going to be similar. So going into 2020, 2021, lots of articles being written. And now it's sort of slowing down quite a bit here. So this will help you see trends as far as like when topics are really popular. You can even see republished pages. Um, so, you know, somebody who published a page and then updated it, republished it later. All sorts of helpful information here. I won't go into every single piece and component of this uh you know you can play around with all the different um, sorting and filtering and stuff to kind of see how it's going to work best for your situation uh, you can also check out the authors so the people who are writing about this stuff the individual websites and even the languages that this stuff's being written in so all of this is really helpful to get information at a glance of course you can export it manipulate the data do what you need from there so Hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to use the Ahrefs Content Explorer, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step-by-step -step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks.
If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.